Christian Arthur. I don't know if y'all knew Keith. His, he was one of the finest paint body guys around. Especially being an up and comer, somebody we all looked up to. And here's his car. This car meant so much to him. I don't know if y'all saw in the picture of the day he got the car. But he had a real big smile on his face. It's heartbreaking. So what we're going to do is I'm going to allow the family to come up, say some words if they choose. Uh, and then after that, we're going to allow friends to come say some words. And that's what we're going to do today. We're not going to be doing no rev ups, nothing like this. This is a calm day. Today we can all remember. And hopefully we won't forget. And if anybody here needs to talk to anybody, talk to anybody here. We're all here for each other. This is a big family. We're part of a community that goes way beyond Newmark and Frederick, DMV, anywhere. We're all here for each other. And don't forget that. With that being said, I'm going to turn the mic over to... All right. Push the button. You got to press the button. Just to the trigger. Just open the trigger. Never press the trigger right here. I'm glad this is a mega. I'm glad this is a megaphone for this reason. Hey, I love you up there. Over. It's kind of hard right now, as you can see. Um, I'll call out one of the guys. Unless y'all want to come say something now, or you want to wait a little bit? I'll say it say last. I'll say something. All right. Come say something, Pat. I'll never forget the uh, time um, when I first met him. Probably the funniest thing ever happened whenever I first met him. He, uh, I pulled up behind him as we were coming in, and then as we parked, I'll never forget the time that he came over to my SUV, the Ford Explorer I own, and he goes, I literally thought you were going to pull me over. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm not that kind of guy, and he goes, all right, well, nice ride, and I told him nice ride as well, and ever since then, you know, he may be gone, but he'll never be forgotten in this community. And, yeah. Well said, Pat. Thank you. We'll call up Zach. I didn't know Keith all that well, but uh, when I needed a bumper paint for the season opener, he bent over backwards to make it happen. Uh, he had about three days to get it done. I, I couldn't ask someone to do a better job. He's an excellent painter and a uh, real stand up guy. Everyone, this is Keith's mother. Oh, there's the mother. Um, Keith, you're so missed, so loved. Um, and never will be forgotten. It's really hard to lose a loved one. There's a lot of us. What'd you say? Come up here and tell us. You can? All right. Are we just gonna... We good? All right. Well, one thing I would like to say about Keith. So I met him last year, he gave me a shirt, some stickers, and, you know, he might have even sponsored the coffee a time or two for all of our enjoyment. Uh, he reached out to me about a month prior to his passing. He said he was working on a 67 Chevelle. 67 Chevelle, and he was almost done with it, and he asked, and it would have been the first time we ever did this, he said, could he... Uh, can't think of the word right now. Yeah. Could he reveal it here? 
Well, of course he could reveal it here. Problem is, he never got to do that. That meant so much to me. I know it would have meant so much to everyone else to actually have done that. But on the other hand, that didn't happen. After that, he'd come out a time or two, you know, just a stand-up guy. And when I called him to help Zach out, like Zach said, he had a 67 Chevelle Doug reveal. But he put that to the side, I think. Maybe he was already done. I don't know. To get that bumper done because it meant so much to one of us. He would have done the same thing for any of us. So it was a tremendous loss. With that being said, you know, I think we ought to take a moment of silence just to think about him, think about the impact he had on the community, and all of that. So let's do a moment of silence. appreciate all of you coming out to do this with us. We're in this together and it's not our favorite times to have to do things like this but it's something we go through together because that's just how we are. I appreciate y'all coming out every Sunday. Uh, you know, y'all are what makes this. If it wasn't for everybody here, we wouldn't be here. That's why when we have somebody go through similar situations or we lose someone we love then we have to come together and I know I'm rambling right now but it's okay um, thank y'all for being here